I'm here today at the Ormond Family Orchard out in Warrandyte. I really love fresh produce and being just half an hour out of the city is somewhere I can come and get fruit straight from the source. They're normally known for their stone fruits, but being winter, I'm sure they've got something else growing. So I'm going to go find Barry and he's going to show us exactly what's going on. So we've made our way down to the orchard and I'm here with Barry who's worked here for 48 years. So Barry, tell us what we're looking at. Okay Cameron, uh, we've got pink lady apples here. Uh, they've already been picked twice, so that's why the crop load is looking fairly light. Okay, what, what, what's the characteristics of this type of apple? Well the pink lady is a, a, was a bred in Western Australia, so it's a, a dinky dye Australian apple. Okay. Um, it, it's got quite a tang of a flavour yep. um, and it all boils down to personal preference. Uh, some people would regard the Pink Lady as being sour uh, but uh, people who enjoy a Pink Lady uh, sometimes consider the Fuji to be a little bland. Okay, yeah. No, I prefer sour myself so I understand that. And with, with all red apples, when you are, are trying to decide if they are mature, what we look at is, is what we call the ground colour, which is the green part of the apple. Most red apples do display some ground colour, and it's when the ground colour starts to change from green to a, to a creamy green, uh, that's, that's one of the simplest uh, measures of, of maturity. You'll notice on the ground, uh, we have got the re reflected material, yep. and the aim of that is to, um, is to uh, reflect the sunlight off the ground back up into the tree to get more colour on the apples which are on the shaded under part of the tree. Yeah. Do you have a sort of a, a secret, a special fertiliser or anything to get them looking this healthy and this nice? No, not a special fertiliser. The most important thing is to, to be aware of the overall nutrient balance. Things like potash uh, tend to give you um, good fruit colour. Now and the apples are growing, but uh, if I come here in the other seasons, what can I expect to see? On this orchard we grow a lot of peaches and nectarines, uh, so we, we start picking those uh, end of November yep. and uh, we don't finish picking plums until the end of March. Okay, so all year round though there's all different fruits on all the time or you get a bit of time off at any, oh, at any of the seasons? We de de definitely do get organised to have some time off, um, which is mainly during the winter months. Okay. Uh, because in the summer everything is happening on a much more immediate basis. Yep. Uh, because the peaches and nectarines are, are picked, packed, and sold within, the, you know, within yep. about a week of being picked. So now we've got our apples, which have been picked today. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh, well, the tractor and trailer takes the apples up to the shed, where the, the bins of apples are uh, handled by the forklift. So what sort of makes you decide which is a first grade and which is a second grade? Well, apples like this with um, a nice amount of colour and no blemishes, they'll, they'll be first grade. Yep. Um, a pale looking apple like that, um, even without the blemish that it's got, uh, would be second grade. Just purely on colour, it's got exactly. the same flavour and everything. That, that's right, yeah. So th th yeah. there are good buys to be had in this uh, second grade fruit at times. Well all this talk about apples, do you mind if I grab one? Go, go ahead, I uh, think I'll have one too. Oh, beautiful. And that's a seriously good apple. I told you it would be. <laughs> So we've put our apples into our cart and how exactly do we get them into these boxes here now? Okay, well what we'll do is we'll uh, lower the bin down into the water yep. to uh, float the apples out so that they don't get bruised. And then the apples come along and up the rollers where they can be sorted. And then over the brushes where they get water sprayed on them. 
and then down onto the wheel just there. So then just off the wheel and into the boxes. That's right, and then up to the shop. So Michelle, we've just learned how to pick some beautiful fruit off the trees, but when we're in the shop, how, how can I pick a nice apple? Okay, if you can pick a nice apple, there's a Splendour grown here. Um, beautiful thin-skinned apple, beautiful sweet and low in acid. Is that good for, for older people who have sort of um, yes, stomachs that can be upset? Yes, it definitely is. We've heard a lot of it, um, older people who buy these apples. Okay, and if I uh, wanted a nice pear, what would I look for? Um, if you're looking for a nice pear, if you want to eat it ripe, look for a creamy green colour. You look for just, if you can, just a little bit of pressure or a little bit of give around the shoulder of the pear will tell you that okay. it's ready to eat. And what are these pears over here? These look a bit different. The Buey Boss pears, um, you can just let them get a little bit yellower if you want to eat them, um, otherwise you can cook them at any time. They're a beautiful cooking pear. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a dish with some quince in it. Yes. What should I look for there? Um, the quince here, beautiful fruit, um, an ancient fruit, and it's picked when it's ripe. It won't ripen anymore once it's been picked. Okay, and it seems to have sort of a, a mildew sort of look on it. What's no, that? It's just a, a protection for the quince out in the weather. And just okay, so that's fine. That's yes, fine. you just wash that off. Okay. These tomatoes look nice and red. How do I uh, know if they're going to be tasty? Oh, they are tasty. Um, my niece grows these hydroponic tomatoes and these are ones that are picked on the truss. Okay, so most of this stuff here, if you don't grow it, do you source it from local growers? Yes, or? as much as we can, we source it from the local area. Okay, well that, that's good, thanks for that. So it looks like I've got everything I need here. I'm going to head back to the kitchen and cook it all up. <laughs>